Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have some exciting Monster High news because we have our first look at the upcoming core refreshed dolls of Draculaura and Claudine. We also have some real life pictures of Vampire Heart and surprise, she's wonky. So let's get Vampire into it. Vampire Heart, Draculaura. Sorry, I kind of forgot to say Draculaura, but we know, all know Vampire Heart means Draculaura. So first up, let's talk about the new core refreshed dolls of Draculaura and Claudine, um, we had seen a little peek, a really close up picture of Dracula's face before, and that was that was this doll. So that that's this is her. <laughs> so the interesting part here is that um, yeah. So what is happening? Core refresh. What does that mean? Um, essentially, they're gonna release new dolls of the core characters which here in this case are laguna cleo frankie dracula and claudine they're going to release new versions of those core characters um with these new signature dolls they're going to come next year uh by then all of them will be available but first we're getting Draculaura and claudine those two are going to be first available uh they're supposed to release next spring but on the amazon listing it says October, so I don't know. It set, it kind of seems like they are supposed to release next year, but they're kind of going to release earlier, maybe this October, November. Um, really depends. A lot of different sources have said November, October, so it kind of depends. So, But it seems like they're going to come up early. Then Frankie and Claudine, uh, Frankie, Cleo, Laguna... Those three characters are going to start appearing uh, next year for sure. Like those are not going to come early. Those three are supposed to come later on, like in summer or fall. So uh, we're, not gonna, we're probably not going to get to see leaks of those characters um, yet. Uh, but it's so exciting that we're going to get new refreshed core dolls of the characters. I mean, that's just so like exciting, but also like why because i mean i get why it's to keep the brand fresh to keep the characters looks fresh and keep the um you know audiences and also consumers engaged with the brands uh always with with the brand always like you know evolving and changing so that's i guess why uh but it's just really fun i kind of look at this like a schools out ver version of g3 because um uh, it's kind of giving schools out but you know obviously just G3. And by the way, this leaked, like we got, apparently, uh, I was sleeping <laughs> when, when all of this happened. I was sleeping. I didn't know what was happening. So uh, I, I only found out like 10 hours after the initial peak you know blurry pictures had leaked so i was late to the party uh, but initially we only got like two blurry pictures and then we got better pictures that are now from the actual listings so um there's already people are have already talked about them but i'm so yeah sorry <laughs> sorry i can't do much about it but i'm so here let's take a better look at dracula first um wow wow i mean she basically looks like every Draculaura fan's biggest um, dream, I think, right? I, I mean, she's kind of giving, like she's kind of giving, 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 like a lot. <laughs> uh, she has the witch hat, she has ponytails, she has tights, she has like a cute skirt on, like she has boots on, like girl, she is basically what everyone loves about Draculaura and what everyone's been wanting to see from Draculaura in G3 so far. And here she is. This is Mattel, like, okay, here she is. You want a Draculaura with a witch hat, with pigtails, with tights on, with boots, here you go. <laughs> here she is, you better buy her. So um, she is basically the, um, the peak essence of Draculaura you know, if what fans want of Draculaura. So, I mean, she looks amazing. I love the skirt. I, I, I think it's a really cute skirt. I'm also surprised that the skirt actually has like a little bit of tulle peeking out underneath. Like I was not expecting it to have layers, but okay. Uh, little print, the tights, obviously cute. The sleeves are so big and poofy and black. And then over the black shirt, uh, we also have a pink top and then a witch hat and then the pigtails and then her makeup is also dark the black lipstick like are you kidding me that is so iconic uh the pink boots the boots are okay i like them um they're they're cute but i feel like they're a little bit too simple like they do have a couple of painted details but i feel like they're also like the actual molding on the heel on, on the boot itself is very simple like i feel like they could have done a little bit more but i get it it's a boot it's it's simple and it's it's fine so uh so yeah overall i I mean, she looks amazing um and uh 
you know, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of getting fatigued <laughs> over all this Draculaura stuff. But even I can tell you, like, she's probably gonna be like everyone's favorite G3 Draculaura doll to date. Like, she's just like peak Draculaura right now. Like, she's just what everyone wants. So uh, yeah, I can, she's amazing. She's gonna sell for sure. Um, and then obviously her accessories include a backpack, a little. Uh, you know, sunglasses, um, snacks, her pets come fabulous, who here is in the shape of a uh, cat. So remember in the series, Count Fabulous started off started off as a bat, but then became a cat. So here he is in the, you know, cat shape. Uh, so yeah, really cute stuff. I think again, she's just, she's, she's giving, she's amazing. And these dolls are going to retail for $24.99. So like the basic price, like gen generic price, like always. Um, and there's also going to be, there's also going to be new packaging. So that's also very exciting. Actually, comparing the two core Draculaura dolls from G3, they are totally different. Like one of them is wearing shorts. The other one is wearing like a skirt, tights, socks, shoes, boots, witch hat, headband, long hair, short hair, um, pigtails, no pigtails. Like, you know, it's just, uh, and with short hair, I mean like not even that much shorter, like she, just because she has them in pigtails. Uh, but like essentially, like they look so different, but also like, I still love them both. Like, <laughs> Cause I, I love the original Drax uh, outfit, but I also, I can, I, I definitely see like just how iconic the new Dracula's outfit is, it's just, so perfect for her like the witch hat is giving it's just i'm living she's she's so cute moving on to claudine now claudine uh, definitely surprised me but i'm gonna say right now already i don't love her i don't love her but i like her i like her a lot okay don't get me wrong so i do love dracula's new look I don't love Claudine's new look, but I do think it's an improvement and I do like it more than her original core um, doll look. So already, oh, it is an improvement. It is an improvement. I like it more. So I think she's, she still looks great. Like I, even though I don't love her, love her, like I still like her. Like she's really cute. Like I like the pants now. I like the shirt, like the jacket. I don't, I think I don't love her fully because of the jacket. It just really is a recycled design from Barbie Extra. You know, it really is like the furry sleeves and like the jersey like the varsity looking um torso right like it's just it is a recycled design i don't love when they do that mattel um you know with like recycling barbie designs with monster high like using them on monster high dolls like it's just it's just so obvious uh but so i don't love the jacket i do like the idea of the pants and like the belt and the shirt um i just think i don't know i feel like her jacket should have been something else more of a statement piece because here it is just so it's, it's just a really recycled idea and you know you can do recycling and it's great uh, but when you do it wrong then it's like oh you can just tell it's a little bit you know like um gimmicky it's not like it's just it, Cla i don't like i don't feel like claudine makes this jacket her own like i just feel like yeah she just took it away from barbie extra you know like it's just i don't feel like it's she made it her own her own like it's just missing like like i don't think claudine would wear this <laughs> Like the fur sleeves only like i feel like she should have had she should have had like a full-on fur coat um or like some kind of like a like a pleathery like inspired by her g1 coat like that would have been really cute with, with like the fur collar like i think that would have been better suited um but it's okay like i i do i prefer this outfit overall over the original release just because i don't love the vest the fur vest uh, so i do prefer this jacket over the fur vest uh yeah so even though i don't love it i do prefer it over the, the vest it's just i don't love it it's just so like why uh it makes her look so chunky um but uh, yes i like the hair people are saying that hopefully it's going to be saran so not polly i'm hoping to i like the black lipstick so both of them have black lipsticks interesting i i definitely prefer it also it's just much more mature it's just really goth um and then you know the accessories the boots they're all fine uh but i again i feel like the boots are very simple but i don't know maybe maybe it's a, that's gonna be like a running theme the shoes are very simple uh so far they are kind of simple they're just both be boots so um with like minimal painted details here claudine's boots don't even really have many details so uh but i i also feel like there's an ongoing theme with blue like this claudine has a lot of like a lot of like blue undertones like with the boots shoes like the boots um platforms i mean uh the accessories and then her uh notebook has like blue so like 
there's a lot, a lot of blue going on in her outfit maybe they're gonna they're trying to make blue her new like color theme i don't know <laughs> i don't think blue is like claudine's color you know what i mean like i think it's always been green uh purple gold um not not blue but yeah i think she's cool i think she's fine i definitely prefer her over the original claudine so that that's good already like i definitely prefer this one over the old one so i like her we i really know we're do. getting frankie cleo and laguna too they're gonna come later next year so i asked y'all you know like what you would like to see improved upon with those characters and overall like people just want to see laguna done justice you know like they they just want to see her do better <laughs> no mermaid gowns you know like just good designs for cleo perhaps some bangs some pants um and for frankie honestly just make them look good <laughs> but i think already for frankie we already have like the welcome com committee frankie which by the way looks really fits in perfectly with these two other new um dracula and claudine dolls like they all have black lipstick they all have like really great designs uh so interesting but th that frankie is definitely not part of this new refreshed lineup so uh but it's, i guess it's just a coincidence that they all have black lipstick uh so yeah i just hope that they do frankie right cleo deserves bangs the pants laguna um deserves a good design like seriously because like so far laguna has been one of the biggest victims of designs um flopping for for her and g3 unfortunately uh it's especially because you know laguna even pink laguna i know she's pink and i i, per, I like her this way in g3 i think she's cute so i really hope that they do her justice you know um and give her outfits where she can really like you know take advantage of them and just make them look the best you know and it's just i, I just i don't feel like they've utilized laguna's theme to them to like the the most that they can like i just feel like they've done like mermaid silhouettes and like bubble pr patterns and just like the obvious stuff like i don't think they've really given laguna enough effort to make her look the best she could in g3 so hopefully they they do the best here with this new refreshed um you know lineup of core characters uh which apparently is taking uh you know feedback from fans that they're like they're taking feedback from fans and they're improving upon these um you know this feedback with these new dolls so hopefully they've heard us mattel has heard our complaints of for these characters and they will improve upon with these new outfits and designs uh with these refreshed dolls but knowing mattel you know you never know and uh, I don't really know if they actually listen to their fans. <laughs> and lastly, we do have some real life pictures of Vampire Heart Draculaura that were um, shared initially uh, by someone on Facebook, apparently, and then shared on Instagram. And you know how it goes, like it spreads like wildfire. And then there's a ton of people who have shared the same picture. So yeah, I don't know who originally posted these uh, or, or who even took these pictures. Uh, but apparently it was a Amazon worker uh, at a warehouse that found a doll and just took a video. So uh, here's a picture of her in real life. So apparently people are not happy with this doll and are scared about her probably suffering uh, to wonkiness. <laughs> and that the mass produced versions will um, have wonkiness most of them now remember this is a hundred us dollar doll um yeah she costs 90 now they you know put the price down by 10 bucks but like really it's still a hundred bucks so um people are disappointed that you know she doesn't look perfect and yeah that's definitely dis disappointing uh because you know you're paying so much money um and especially international fans when they get her on ebay they're gonna pay so much and then they're gonna be like oh it's wonky her lashes are rooted all wrong over her eye you know her face one eye is bigger one eye is smaller you know her her bangs are too thin her bangs are too thick that they're gelled too much the hair is messy like there's so many things that could go wrong and with these pictures people are already getting an idea that you know they will go wrong so there's just going to be unfortunately there's going to be some wonky ones so yeah that really sucks um but hopefully you know yours won't be wonky if you got her um hopefully most of them will be fine but yeah quality control um they should have really invested in quality control especially with a doll that's so expensive so but you know mattel mattel never does what they should do and that was the video i hope y'all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and become a member today so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses